my god, look at this! Woo! Got a bunch! What's up everybody? Today I want to share my experience with the ballet group. If you don't know what it is, if you don't know what it does, stick around and I'll be glad to show you. Alright, first I would like to tell you about the four different models they have. On my hands, I have the Mini. The Mini is about 23, 24 inches. Uh, close to 24. Now, not 24, but close to 24 inches. It is, uh, I think this one will be great for kayak fishermen like myself. It's really easy to set up. All you gotta do is push it down a little bit. Stick it in, turn it around, push it down a little bit, not much, you need a lot of pressure, and stick it in. And that's it, it's ready to use. Really easy, really simple. To take it apart will be the same way. Push it down a little bit and pull it. Push it down a little bit and pull it. That easy, that's simple. See? This one will be, to me, this one will be great for the kayak. All right, that was the meaning. They have three more. The other one will be the same material, aluminum, with the net exactly the same, but a much bigger, 48 inches, which is four feet. But it doesn't collapse. It doesn't, you, you cannot take it apart like you, like, like you do with this one. That one is not my choice. It's a little big, it's a little bulky. It's, it will be hard to storage, but that is up to you. The third option will be one just like this one, about 48 inches, and you can take it apart. You can, you can do the same as you can do with the little one. Take it apart, you can fold it, you can put, place it on, this, on, the, on the back that comes with it. It's really easy to storage. The last option will be this one, which is made out of polycarbonate. What's polycarbonate? It's kind of like a hard plastic that is really hard and easy to bend. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like. I'm gonna show you how easy to, to set them up. All you gotta do is the same thing. Push it down and stick it in. Same thing with the other corner. Push it down and stick it in. That's it, it's done, ready to go. Ready to catch bait. Let me show you how it is, how it looks like. And follow away. Hope you guys can see this. All right, the first thing you gotta do is anchor. You need to be steady in one place. If you're fishing from a, from a bridge or a pier, well, whatever, you don't have to anchor, of course. You can also find a buoy, a buoy, yeah, attach yourself to it, whatever. You need to be steady in one place. And then you're gonna use chum. You wanna chum the water to bring some bait in, to make the bait to come to you. Uh, the chum you wanna use, you wanna use double grinded chum. You don't wanna use any regular chum that comes with the big pieces of fish. Those big pieces of fish will get a, a, a touch of a, a stock on your, on your net. You don't want that. So you gotta use double grinded shum, that's very important. Then you're gonna wait for the bait to get close to, you, to your ball. Once you see bait, it can, it can be ballyhoo, can be speedos, cigar minnows, goggle eyes, um, pilchers, almost any bait. Once the bait is close to, you, to, the, to, the, to the ball, it's behind the shum, all you gotta do is drop the, uh, the, the hoop, let it drift with the current, and hold it. The bait will get away for a minute, but they will come back. Once they get back, all you gotta do is reel it in real slow. First of all, slow, what I do, real slow. Once it's, once it's a little bit close to the, to the, to the, to the, um, to the bait, halas, bring it in fast, and you will catch all the bait. That's how I did it, and it works really good. All right, guys, this is all that I got for today. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, please leave me a like, and maybe subscribe to the channel. And big thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next. Oh, shit, come here.